Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Fate Extra, Episode 2. Still on the prologue for bitch-ass protagonist that dies in the end. Spoilers. <coughs> I'm drunk. Let's do this. So, when we left off, I, I was freaking the fuck out and the world was breaking and who am I? Who knows? The pain is making it hard to remember who I am after all. Um, uh... What? Uh, hold on. Okay. There we go. I pushed random buttons. I mean, really? Who am I? What is my name? Who am I? Y yada yada. I can't remember anything. My memory is erased, somehow. And why did this happen? That's right. The editor in chief of the Journalism Club. As the president of the Journalism Club, she should at least know my name. I know I had to fill out something when I first joined the club. I'll ask her. Hopefully she'll be in her normal spot. Jesus Christ. This is why you don't leave old tape cassettes out in the goddamn sun. 90s humor, am I right? <laughs> God, that's really painful to look at. Oh, our club's ace. Did he find out anything? The EIC is in her usual cheery self. All I can think about is the pile of dead bodies I witnessed. <laughs> Me too, buddy. Every day at work. <laughs> I have to ask about myself. I'll ask what my name is. Huh? You're Namu. Just look it up in the registry in the library. Like, I don't got time for that shit. Ah, the school registry. It has everyone's names. If I look at the school registry, it might jog my memories. I'll go to the library. Library in, in the first floor, I think? I don't know. <laughs> don't care, one see. I ain't no freshman, bitch. Let's do it. If I remember correctly, about anything about Japanese high school is the library is always on the third floor, right hallway. Always. That's the multimedia room. Um. All right, I'm wrong and retarded. Good to know. I could have sworn it was on the fucking what, whatever. That's what I needed. Is it on the second floor? Am I? Re I know I'm retarded, but yeah, okay, it is second floor. Jesus Christ, what is wrong with me? Okay. Yo, bruh, my name here? Sukimahara Academy Student Registry. Once I read through these, once I read through this, I should be able to remember everything about myself. I open the book and begin turning pages. Immediately I notice something terribly wrong. The pages are blank. Blank, blank, blankety blank. Every single fucking page is blank. I reach for last year's school registry, and when I start flipping through the pages, blank, blankety, blank, 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 blank. <laughs> then the world breaks. And I ask again, the fuck? And just, the fuck? Eh. I am Cleef. And everyone's gone. Let's go down a floor. Oh, right, what's up, bruh? Yo, bruh, where you going? Something wrong with this place, but more worrying is the fact that I can't remember who I am. As I'm one of the campus, I see Leo walking down the hallway on the first floor. As a transfer student, I can't see why Leo would want to visit any of the freshmen. Also, there's nothing but a dead end up ahead. I wonder what Leo's really up to. Maybe going through a magical door in the wall? What holiday fucking shit? I suddenly have this weird feeling that someone or something is up ahead in the hallway. 
like Leo, staring at a blank wall. Who, for some reason, is examining the wall at the end of the hallway with, that's what I fucking said. I'm not repeating myself. <clears throat> the attention to detail is quite impressive. Even the surrounding air is surprisingly substantial. If that is the case, this world is in some ways more real than the real world it represents. I don't know what that means, bro. I ain't philosophical and shit. I'm just a dirty, tired, drunk weed playing games. But that's just my opinion. How about you guys? What are your thoughts on this? In that moment, it feels like my heart skips a beat. Almost immediately, my blood pressure, my blood pleasure, blood pleasure, skyrockets along with my body temperature. Bum bum bum. My pulse is like an explosion in my ears as my blood races through my veins, and the reason is clear. Fucker got bars. Now he, I mean Leo, has turned to face me. I know now. I now know for sure he's talking to me as there is nobody else present besides the two of us. Greetings. I believe this is the first time we've had an actual conversation. I don't feel any sense of hostility from Leo. In fact, his smile seems genuinely friendly. His smile has the same effect on me as the rising of the morning sun. Warm and comforting. Which makes sense, because after all, you get morning wood, and currently, MC has a fear boner. Don't worry about it. Oh god, my back hurts. Oh. I don't care what they pay me, working 50 hours a week is too much. Fuck you, backwoods, making me do Let's Plays. And I'm so tired. Oh, well. At least I fucking love Fate, and the extra games are amazing. I just said I can't play Umu Waifu. I gotta play Caster. Casco is alright. I like her. But she's no Umu. In addition to his smile, his presence is inviting and inclusive, and I find myself drawn to him. Bert! Bert! I need you to go to YouTubes and look up Fate... Uh, Fate extra umu two hour and put a bit of it in the video. Just loop that shit. Do it. Fucking do it. Make me happy for once. <laughs> yeah. I'm 100 percent. I'm 200 percent. In addition to his smile, his presence is inviting and inclusive, and I find myself drawn to him. Oddly, my worries have vanished. All I can think of is doing as he says, and that's the only way to do. My mind feels like it's in a haze. It's like Leo's controlling my thoughts in some way. With his dead fish eyes. Titty school wasn't half bad. I've never had the opportunity to go to one before now. After all, I am British. In that respect, this has been quite an interesting experience. However, the time for fun has come to an end. I did not come here to play it being a student. No matter how enjoyable the detour, eventually one must return to their appointed path. And for me, the time to do so has arrived. With those final words, Leo turns his back on me. Farewell. No, that's not quite right. I don't think farewell would be an accurate in this situation. For reasons I cannot explain, I have the distinct feeling that we will see each other again. So I guess I should use the more congenial... Domo. Well, it's time for me to move on. I wish you the best of luck. Fuck you, I won't do what you too. Oh, Jesus. He does walk through the wall. Alright. With those final words, Leo disappears. It's like he ceases to exist. One moment, his hand is on the wall. The next, it is gone. Like the youth. Yeah. Oh, God. Too much liquor. Alright. The young man disappears in front of me. The young man in front of me seems to disappear before my very eyes. I want to say reality rejected his existence in it, but it feels like it was the opposite. That he refused to be constrained by reality. It wasn't any special ability that allowed him to do so, just strength of will. He just said, fuck it, I'm out. Peace. With this departure, I feel as if a great weight is lifted from my very being. 
and rather be a cause for concern, it brings me a fundamental question to mind. Who am I? As the question pops into my head, it begins to take on a life of its own, searing my brain. My brain. I want to touch the wall. I investigate the wall that Leo disappeared through. It's just a fucking wall, dude. It's about the only thing on the floor is dust. Damn it, janitor. I just complimented you last episode. Now you do this shit, leaving dust on my floor. What do I what do I pay you for? But I am positive there must be something here because Leo washed through the wall. It would be so easy to turn around, go back to the hallway, and pretend that Ah my liquor's on my table. Okay. Well that was close. You almost got on my keyboard. That would have been shaky. It'd be so easy to turn around, go back down the hallway, and pretend nothing happened. But there are still things I need to know. I have no memories. That means I've never had anywhere else to go but here. No place to return to. I sleep in the alleyway behind the school every night. What was it that Leo said? No matter how enjoyable the detour, eventually one must return to their appointed path. That's what he said, didn't he? Then behind this wall lies the appointed path and the truth. If I follow him, I'll learn the answer to my questions, even though those answers are painful. But ignorance is bliss. Do I have the fortitude to face the truth and accept it? I don't know. Do I have more liquor? In that case, I can dodge the truth for another night. Oh. Jesus. I want to know. I want to know about these strangers like me. Something's different. Down to the floors and the walls, the school has changed the very substance of his being. Now it's gelatin. For some reason, reality cracking this way is intensely disturbing. The world around me is more real than a painting, but not even as real as a sandcastle. The fuck does that mean? I feel like it's so brittle I could tap it and the echo would shake the whole world. Or this whole world. I don't fucking know. Where the boring concrete wall once stood, that's a doorway that I can freely walk through. It's an entrance. No, an emergency exit, like stairs to the outside. It's not something of this world. I have no doubt that the world the door leads to is utterly alien. Whatever awaits inside, whatever shape it takes, there's a certain sort of finality to seeing it. Like I'll fucking die. <coughs> <coughs> oh, Jesus. I need, a, I need to go to sleep. <laughs> but I got a let's play to do. Ultimately, ultimately... I have already committed to this path. I bid farewell to the false world and take my first step along the appointed path. Um, why am I in the classroom now? Oh. Oh, hey, baby. What you doing here? Again, the door seems to be a dismal looking scrapyard or a storage room at school. Out in front of me is the smooth-skinned effigy while trying to figure out exactly what to do with it. Welcome, potential master. A voice comes out of nowhere. That effigy with you is your sword and shield for what lies ahead. It will move in response to your commands. Now then, please proceed. The truth that you seek lies ahead. The motivations of the owner of that voice worry me, but it's obvious I won't learn anything by standing here. Also, there's no longer a path where I can return. I have no choice but to head into the darkness with only this strange doll as protection. I'm not okay. Oh shit, he did. Made it. Within the deepest depths of the world beyond the door. Or five feet in. What's the difference? This place must be the goal I'm supposed to reach. At least, that's what I thought. It's stifling the aura of purity that seems to act as a ward against corrupted souls who try to enter. The feeling is familiar. It has this feeling of a chapel where the spirits of the deceased still linger. You'll be you dead ass. At first, I didn't notice being overwhelmed by the grandeur of the room. But to one side is a young man in a familiar uniform, lying still on the ground. I call out to him, but there is no reply. I shake him in an attempt to wake him up when I notice he is stone cold. 
Steve Austin. I go put pale if the course before me and I can no. I go as pale as the course before me and I can no longer think coherently. All I can do is stare in bewilderment. It is at this moment that an enemy stand attacks. The fallen effigy lying next to the male student comes to its feet with a clatter. Before I get a chance to make sense of what's going on, it suddenly twists around and comes right at me. Very slowly. Oh shit. Is this a motherfucking battle tutorial? Um. I'm learning a lot. Thanks for playing for me. You know, I'm having fun. I'm having a good time. Wonderful. Okay. Thanks, Ken. Alright, just fucking die, dude. I thought for sure it let me at least try it. I know, I think I'm, I died on purpose, but that's some bullshit. Hmm, you seem to be lacking as well with your tiny penis. I didn't stand a chance against that. Me? Qualifications, that's right. I should know everything by now. The truth has, has to be here, but now I'm fucking dead. I'm not even really scared. Not even mad, bruh. Only feeling remaining is regret. Even to the very end, I was unable to remember anything about myself. What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh no. Oh no. I broke it. Oh no. Well, I gotta figure out what the hell's wrong with this game, so short episode, but hey, at least when we come back, we can make the MC. So, see you guys later. I love you.